for today while we are here. David Njoku. I hope I say that correctly. That's, That's right. how That's I've always said it. it. Yeah. Uh, Brown's tight end. He's in the third year of his rookie contract. He has decided that he wants a trade, and he announced it today. Drew Rosenhaus reached out this morning to the Browns, let them know that he would prefer that it be set up and done before training camp, which is what, at the middle of August, the beginning of August? Is that right? Yeah, I'm not really sure when they're set in training camp, but yeah, it's it's coming up. So they would like to get that done, which, oh, no, it opens later this month, so later on in July. Uh, Rosenau said it's in David's best interest to find a new team at this time. He broke his wrist last season, only appeared in four games. He has 93 catches for 1,066 yards and nine touchdowns in his career thus far. Now, Chris, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and let you know. Oh, Ben said, where do we find the CFB show? It's on the Sportsbook Review uh, YouTube page. So it'll be over there, and it'll be on the site. It'll be on winningcureseverything.com, and you can find it on our YouTube because we're going to link to it. So you'll be able to find it wherever you find us. Just follow us, and you'll be fine. Uh, Explain to us, Chris, why Njoku might be wanting a trade right now. It seemed like odd timing. Yeah, so this is this is his fourth year. I'm sorry. This is fourth year of his rookie year. Oh, is that right? Um, yeah, yeah, you're and, right. You're right. Yeah, his of oh, his rookie deal. Sorry, his um. So so they signed Austin Hooper early in the free agency deals. I thought that was a strange signing because I think Njoku has a massive amount of potential. Um, is a freak athlete, and his biggest issue last year was he broke his wrist early and didn't get to play the rest of the year. Uh, and then also the few games he did play, Baker was just flat out bad last year. I mean, he was he was terrible. Everybody's numbers last year offensively outside of Chubb, everybody who depended on Baker being good, everybody's numbers suffered. Um, and and so so I just think them signing Hooper long term says they're not going forward with Njoku, and uh, and he probably said, hey, let's get out. I think the reason they waited until now to request the trade was Rosenhaus wanted to see, could he find a trade partner before he caused a stink in a locker room? I don't think they request a trade unless they feel like they have somebody lined up ready to make a deal. And all the reports are right now that it is the Dallas Cowboys. That yeah, is right the, now the, the Cowboys, one reported I didn't see that. I follow a lot of Patriot blogs and a lot of Patriot fans and are the bloggers are all wanting the Pats to make this deal. Um, and, and something that, that's pretty interesting about it, I thought they had a really good chance as soon as I saw Drew was his agent. Uh, Bill and Drew get along extremely well. A lot of The Patriots sign a lot of Drew Rosenhaus guys. And the biggest reason is, is because Drew, while he is a shrewd agent and hardcore, Bill appreciates that because he's hardcore. He's very cutthroat. He's very business-oriented. But it's the fact that they don't bullshit one another. Tell me what your client wants. If I can make it work, we'll do a deal. If I can't, we'll walk away, and there's no use in dicking around. Yeah. Um, and that's the reason they get so many deals done so quickly. Uh, and so I got excited about that. I'd love to see him go to the Patriots. If he goes to the Cowboys, though, that's the only missing piece they have on offense. That wide receiving core, I think, is the best in the league. The running back and the offensive line is one of the best situations in the NFL. Dak is more than capable at quarterback, and they've got a dud at tight end, which is kind of fine if the rest of the team is great. That's where you'd rather have a dud. If you replace that with just a freak athlete, which Njoku is, hasn't really projected to anything much, but this is going to get the best out of him if he goes to Dallas. No, I, th- I think you're right. Joseph that, Gomez. They are going to become a Big 12 football team because that team defensively is bad. And right and the coaching staff is is pretty good. I mean, that's a pretty good coaching staff that they uh, that they brought in. Joseph yeah, Gomez said, so. uh, here, give me one second. Injured for about two of those years. He has shown flashes in a year. Um, he said, New York, the Chargers, and the Texans should be in the mix. Yeah, I, I completely agree yeah. with all of that. I, I think the Texans should be involved. I think There's the Chargers should absolutely be involved, yeah. seeing as Hunter Henry is going to be a free agent after this year. Um, and you could pick up Njoku's fifth year, I believe, uh, pretty cheap. So, Yeah, I think it's I think it's worthwhile. I think it's definitely worthwhile. The, the timing seemed odd because, to me, if they signed Hooper back in 
April, but the way that you explained it makes a whole lot of sense to me. You want to yeah, find you don't a, request a, dance a trade partner. if you don't know that you've got a trade partner willing to come and get you because then you could just make yourself look like a fool. Team C, you look like a problem child, and and you you want to know somebody wants you and's willing to pay a price for you before you say, hey, I'd like to I'd like to get dealt. That makes a whole lot of sense. Okay, let's move on from 